Hello and welcome to some Xeno Threat 3.0. We are in the 3.16.1 CPTU server patch boy, I think. Um, that sounds right, doesn't it, Sin? Yes. Um, Something like that. We are um, about to do the fleet battle portion of Xeno Threat. Um, we have sort of um, resupplied the Javelin at Jericho Station. They say we. It was like other people on the server. And we sort of just turned up. Um, we didn't see the Javelin in dock here. Now it is PTU and it's there. There are some problems with the Javelins and Idris is spawning properly. Um, but we're hoping it all works so that we can uh, get a feel for the fleet battle portion. And talk about Xeno Threat and how it's changed um, in this 3.16.1 patch since 3.14. Um, and as a couple of people have correctly said to me, what's actually changed um, since 3.14? Isn't it more sort of like a 3.15.2 sort of just update to Xeno Threat? And yeah, it is, but that's a good thing. Right, I'm waiting for old old Senior to turn up. We've got loads of Aries though. Loads of Aries are just everywhere. Good. Um, be they Inferno or Ions. Um, I don't um, rate our chances at the moment at um, taking out any form of fighter craft. Uh, but, uh, Sorry, I've got my Hornet. I've got a Gladius flying around me, checking me out. Orbit me, just like, oh wow, look, it's Board Gamer. He's super <laughs> deep. Don't you dare, don't you dare ram me. Who is this? I'm just repairing, restocking and refueling. I'll be there in a sec. <laughs> We're communicating. <laughs> We're communicating with each other. I think we're married now. Oh. I'll tell you what, hmm. that saber got annihilated by me. Oh. Just boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Just eploded, mate. Eploded. Are you over there in that massive cluster of ships? I am. We're fighting a hammerhead at the moment. He just, he just imploded as well. Wow. Let's see if I can hit this. Is this an M50? Oh, it's a Gladius, it's a Gladius. It is a gamer. It is a beautiful little cluster of ships, isn't it? Not only am I trying to fire it with, with the ion, but I'm doing it in third person. <laughs> oh, I don't know if he's an enemy or not anymore. I just turned around too fast. Many clouds. I mean, if I hit a ship, they explode still. I tell you that. Hmm. I nearly crashed into you there. Wow. It was a beautiful shot, though. I think it's still impressive that I'm missing this ship in third person. I mean, I'm trying to shoot an Idris. Got to not move around too much, because that is how I killed that ship in that um, org fight on it. Just mm. flying around, I clipped. Did I clip? Did like a, a hammerhead. I a hammerhead and I just imploded it with like an M50. Yep. The fight is very pretty, so um, 
do know that there's problems with the Idris's sort of... Oh, what's he doing? His shields went all weird. That's a weird bug. So, I do know there's some problems with the Idris's sort of spinning uncontrollably. I think he's trying to target that, um... Ah, Connie. Ah, ah. That's what it looks like he's doing. Well, something exploded. Yeah, I think he's trying to target that Connie. Front of the ship is just annihilated. Throw gun! You never want to be at the other end of that rail gun. He's got to be almost dead. So, some of the great things about the latest sort of Xeno threat are the AI are much more engaging, NPCs are much more active and uh, ag aggressive, I suppose, is, the, is a good term for it. Uh, but they actively engage players, they change targets, um, they will target threats, um, they will um, move around rather than just sort of stop and go... Derp, derp, derp. Um, no, that's more true of Xeno threat stuff. I'm not sure of all missions. I'm hoping it's most, if not all missions. I mean, even the NPCs on the sort of like, um, the FPS M NPCs on the staff areas are um, actually engaging players. Now, I think we've done enough damage to have killed this boy. I'm surprised that he's still alive. Mm. Uh, it is smoking though, so we do know it's taking damage. So I say that. Jump Town's obviously somewhere where you can get a lot there he goes. more money, but you get consistent, much safer money doing Xeno Threat. I mean, the explosion's very cool. Does it instantly despawn? Oh, he's, he's moved position for me. Yeah, he's, he's gone. So they could despawn the ship as the explosion's happening and you wouldn't notice as much. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So we got double, double Idris. What does it mean? Oh! I think he just fired his railgun at me. <laughs> I, th I think it, I think it missed. I didn't. I wasn't actually paying attention. Is the javelin gonna join in and help us, or is it not spawning at the moment? That's the thing. This inferno just laying into this Idris. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is. He's going to run out of ammo. Yeah, that's the problem. You do not have enough ammo to take on multiple capital ships. Um, but no, I mean, they, and I'm not talking like they should be able to take them on one-on-one -on -one or anything. What I mean is that they should be able to go for a prolonged engagement. Unless you're, unless you're considering them to be bombers, basically. I'm surprised that the Idris isn't trying to focus on the Ion, uh, sorry, the Inferno. It wasn't, wouldn't he go after the Redeemer? Would be my go after idea the what? of threat. Okay. Would go after the Redeemer. Or the Retaliator, sorry, Retaliator. 
Oh, I've lost a wing. Explosions happening on the... Okay. So this would be much easier if the uh, javelin was assisting us, but I don't think it's actually spawned. No. But I am getting much better frame rates than I did last time, I think. Uh, yeah. It's certainly I mean, better than the first time. Oh god, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think there's a load of oh, actual entities. Hammerheads NPS. just let's... spawned in. Cool. Let's go. Uh, let's go after the hammerheads. No hammerhead, no shoot me! Shoot her, not me. Shoot her, not me. I remember when hammerheads used to be the biggest shipping game. Oh, pretty much. Oh, 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 You alright, Zin? Yeah, just getting pummeled. I might go back and respawn my ship because not having missiles is annoying. I think it's going to be really interesting when we have ships um, and sort of combat more balanced so that ships have better roles against very specific sort of things like mm. you do want to bring anti-fighter ships, you do want to bring anti-capital ships, you do want to bring a mix of different types of ships much more readily. At the moment it's sort of like you can just have a big mishmash of ships and you can have a big brawl um, and eventually you'll, you'll win. I mean I'll, yeah obviously there's a bit of that already but not much, not, not as much as there could be. I want that diversification, I want that rock, paper, scissors. Ah! I hope that wasn't me. We made quite a lot of money just from just hanging around. Yeah. Was it, um, I, don't think, I think it was 25,000 just for being there for the first bit? Well, I know, but so with the call to arms as well. I mean, did I take mm. the call to arms? Oh my god. I didn't. I didn't. Are you dumb, dumb? Am I dumb, I'm a dumb, dumb as well, dumb. though? No, I took all times, I think. You're nice. Here we go. Yeah. Apparently I've neutralized 13 enemies. Good job. Well, I mean, I haven't. I've neutralized about five, maybe. But just because I'm nearby and sort of actively shooting things. Boom! Oh no! I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. The island's pretty tanky, which is nice. Um, you can get some good lucky shots off and still destroy fighters pretty easily with the main gun, but it's, it's just... I want a slower firing, accurate sniffer weapon. That's, that's, that's what I want from the ship. Might not be what's appropriate at the moment for balance. That's still all I want. So you got... Some redeemers, so retaliators taking on that. I'm going to say retaliator and redeemer interchangeably because I'm dumb dumb. Yeah. But one of the interests is firing and focusing me, and uh, it doesn't really matter. It's too far away, it's not hitting too much. Got an ion just chasing it down. Oh well, I love the way that looks. Ion just consistent damage. Did a little, did a little bow roll. That was a neat trick. Oh! Uh, and I just rammed the uh, the address. She's still alive. Uh, well, I've got like a frozen corpse spinning in space, which oh. I think's mine. Oh. <laughs> it was nice to see all of my gear on my body as I was spinning around. That that'll teach me for not paying attention to where I was flying. 
Oh, I've returned in in a cutlass. It's supposed to be the cutlass blue. It is the cutlass blue. It just looks a weird color in the gas cloud. It is an emergency, so I've turned on the lights. So it's so much easier to target and kill things. We're not in the ion. Obviously, the uh, auto aim does help. You just constantly get rewards for the Xeno threat missions, um, just by participating. And it's just a nice, big, relatively safe fleet battle unless you ram something. Boom! Good job. Nice. So that was a big wad of money I got. Um, so, what, 50k just from completing the two Xeno Threat missions. We didn't really participate in the first bit. Um, we counted as killing a huge range of people for a load of extra money um, for the Call to Arms mission. Um, and we were getting uh, regular payouts for the bonuses. Is it over? It is over, Zin. Thank God, oh, the, the, the maneuvers you were doing at the end, oh, it was surreal. So I'm not sure if the mm. javelin's spawning at the moment in the PTU. Um, it yeah. could be. Um, I know there was some issues with the the javelin and the Idris um, spawning, spinning and, and things like that. And they were um, considering stopping the Xeno Threat playtest um, if it couldn't be tested. But maybe they just went, you know what, we, we can actually just go, bam, it's not working. And uh, remove it. So that was the Xenothreat 3.0 fleet battle stuff as of the PTU 3.16.1c. Um, yeah, the javelin wasn't spawning, which wasn't ideal. It's obviously the main sort of protect the javelin, um, uh, but that's uh, that's actually something they probably disabled because um, otherwise it would have been broken. Or there was a little problem where they just wanted to test it and they went, ah, it's broken. So let's just remove it for now. Um, so. You can expect 3.16.1 live to have Xenothreat 3.0 at some point. As people have suggested, it is basically Xenothreat 3.15.2. There's not a huge amount more, but the polish and the additions to it um, have made it actually quite a bit better, in my opinion. Um, the Ion, it's a shame that it's not good against fighters, but it does deal heavy damage against larger and capital ships. Um, what are you thinking of Xenothreat at the moment, Sin, compared to um, when we last played it in 3.14? Um, I don't think much has changed. I think the time to kill the Idrises has reduced because of the Iron and the Inferno. Yeah, and probably the Redeemer Honestly, as well. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It might be because, like, maybe they've altered their HP or something, maybe, but it it seemed like that whole phase was a lot quicker than it had been previously. Yeah, even without the Javelin. Mm. Which is weird, because I was thinking, oh my god, this is going to be a slog um, without the Javelin coming to assist us. But it, it, like I said, it might be they've, they've adjusted their HP because there is no javelin currently. Yeah, yeah, that's a, a strong possibility, that, uh, that actually, just to make sure that it's all working. Because this is what it is. They're, they're just testing to make sure it's all working and that any other bits and bobs they put in um, uh, work appropriately. But yeah, the, the AI and NPCs, I think, are significantly better. They're actually engaging you. They're fighting. Um, they're moving around. Uh, there's loads more that spawn. The performance is up as well. So there's a load of ships and performance is pretty good. Um, but you thought that might be because of the javelin. Might be, yeah. Not being there. Um, but uh, it's definitely worth checking out if you have the ability to do so. Check out Xenothreat 3.0 uh, on the PTU if it's tested again. I think it's being tested throughout the rest of today, Monday, as time of recording. Um, and uh, I suspect it will be tested again before it goes live. That's the sort of bad eye in mind. Uh, mind. But um, if you don't get a chance, then just play it when it goes live. Um, any problems that you've for scenes in with the Zenith threat this time or is it just fine is it okay is it working it's okay right. it's alright yeah. it's alright um, thanks for watching guys please tell us what you think in the comments below if you've been playing Zenith threat 3.0 how's it compared to 2.0 are you waiting for it to go to live servers um, have you not been able to get a game of Zenith threat we've actually found that most people are playing uh, on the um, PTU they're, they're trying to get the derelicts and have a look at that more so than Zenith threat um, but uh, 
that might just be because it's a bit of a time investment to do Xenothreat and you have to do that cargo phase um, which doesn't always um, initiate over to the uh, fleet battle phase at the moment or maybe it's fixed now but um, a little bit polished you know, it's gonna be great but anyway tell us what you think in the comments below love you loads see you later bye say bye Zin bye Zin what is best in life to crush your enemies to see them driven before you and to hear the lamentations of their women no of course not it's NordVPN I never saw Conan the Barbarian checking his bank balance and then watching some cool shows on Netflix all while protecting his privacy and being super secure. To be honest, I can't even remember Conan wearing a shirt. Silly Conan. And now, a big old snake god's got your internet history. Good job. Don't be a Conan the Barbarian. Check out NordVPN. Links below for powerful discounts too. Every month we have a ship giveaway for January 2022. It's for a Drake Cutlass Steel, a light assault dropship variant of the Cutlass, perfect for attacking Jump Town and similar narcotic processing areas. All you need to do to be in for a chance of winning that Star Citizen ship is comment on any of my videos made during the month. More details down below. If you would like to further support the channel, consider clicking the join button under my videos or becoming a Patreon. Comments, suggestions, likes and shares all help the channel massively too, so always feel welcome to share your opinion or feedback. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the verse.